Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 12 of our Borussia Mönchengladbach career mode here on FIFA 20. In today's episode, we start with a massive game against Basik Share in the Europa League. And then we're away at Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga. We've gone five league games without a win. 3-3 against Leverkusen. Two 2-0 losses against Werder Bremen and Union Berlin. And in the last episode, two losses against Freiburg. And then 3-2 against Bayern Munich. Thomas Muller clips it in off the post in the dying seconds of the match. As soon as I kick off, the referee blows for full time. That's how close we were to picking up a point against the team at the top. But unfortunately, we just couldn't hold on for a few seconds more for a 2-2 draw. But before we think about the league and Wolfsburg in today's episode, we have a big game against Basik Share. It's the final group game and it's coming down to this game to see who advances into the knockout stages, them or us. They sit on nine points. We also sit on nine points. So we have to win. If we draw, we're out. If we lose, of course, we're out as well. So we have to pick up three points. So we are welcoming the Turkish side to Germany. Let's make sure when they go home, they are no longer in the Europa League. on the ball forward to player now to ram player once again okay it's gone into stindle brilliant pass into player bottom corner one nil we lead in this massive game in the europa league after just 16 minutes no one attract players run look they just let him go and look at the space he's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and he buries it into the bottom corner the pass into Stindl was intended for player, but thankfully it did go into Stindl, so player could make a brilliant run beyond him. Lovely back heel into the striker, and bang, 16 minutes gone, it's 1-0 player with his third Europa League goal of the season. 25 minutes played, Basik Share get their first corner of the game and it's a very good delivery but Ben Sabini gets his head onto it. Oh, Kleeshi jumps above me but thankfully his header goes straight to Stindl. Left hand side is at Turam and it's a beautiful first touch as well from the striker and here he goes on a powerful run forward. But unfortunately Skirtle is there to shove him off the ball. And what is the keeper doing? Does the smart thing eventually and gets it away. Game one against them, Skirtle was unbelievable. And right there, very good defending from the centre-back once again. Here, man, into player. And it's a very good pass into Stindl. Can we find a white shirt in loads of space? Yes, we can. It's good defending once again. I really thought that was going to be 2-0, and it almost was. The first touch I thought was pretty decent, but it was good defending. Just about to get the shot away. There was a Basik share man in the way. Pearson out to this left-hand side in Perea, who's in loads of space. But Rhys James does brilliantly well, and it's going to be a goal kick. Brilliant recovering from the fullback. Good tackle. And luckily, it's going to be a goal kick. And after 34 minutes, we haven't been great. Neither has Basik share But the most important thing is top left. We lead by a goal to nil. If we can just hold on to this lead... We're through to the knockout stages, and that's all that matters. doesn't matter how we play. Like I said, probably a few episodes ago now, I don't care about performances at this rate. Because we're struggling to pick up results, all I care about are results, not performances. Perea on this left-hand side, short into bar, and it's a very good cross to the far post, and Ben Sabini gets it away, only as far as a Basik share man in Inla, and it's a charging run from the midfielder down this right-hand side. Lovely back heel into Fischar, a cross in, and Elvedi gets it away, but again, only as far as a Basik share man, Ponk, Perea. Ponk once again, 64 minutes gone, a cross into Bar, and it's 1-1. 65 minutes played, and it's game back on. 
If it stays like this, we are out of the Europa League. Very good play from Basic Share. Beautiful cross. And a very good header from the striker. Basic Share have dominated this second half, but that's the only real chance they've created. Oh, Demba Bar. 65 minutes gone. That is his third Europa League goal of the season. Right, let's make some changes. I think we're going to bring Heerman off on that right hand side. We're going to put Mbolo up top and Player on that right hand side. And Taram off and Traore on. Ben Sabani on the ball, forward to Traore, who's got fresh legs, and here he goes down this left-hand side, across into Mbolo! We score straight away! What a cross and what a header from the striker! 68 minutes gone, we've retaken the lead. The two subs combining straight away. Oh, what a goal that is. Absolutely brilliant. It's 2-1. We are back in the lead. And as it stands, we are through to the knockout stages. Perea on this left-hand side for Bashak Shares. A very good turn from the winger. Opened up space. And a cross goes in. Pearson into Ucha. And thankfully, it's a poor volley towards goal. And we remain in the lead by one goal with 15 minutes left to play. Player on this right hand side, Stindle back into the striker. Can we find Stindle once again? It's a very good pass into the captain. Decent strike, but wide of the target. Always going away from goal as well. I have made our final change. Stindle's coming off, so that is his last involvement in the game and Raphael on for these last 10 minutes or so. Oh my God, all we have to do is hold on to this lead and we are through. Pearson on the ball for Bashik Share. Out to Inla on this left-hand side. Pearson, Skirtle, Inla once again. I think they might have changed formation, to be honest, because all their players seem all over the place. Inla's on that left-hand side. Clichy's on the right-hand side. So I'm not sure if they have... Yeah, they've changed, they've changed formation. They're going for it. 3-4-3. Three, they know they need one goal to get through to the knockout stages. And Bashik Share are going for it. Inla on this left-hand side. Plays it forward to Perea. And look at the space for the winger. Oh, what a tackle from Ginter. That is incredible. Oh, my God. One of the best tackles I've ever executed on FIFA. That was brilliant. Oh, my God. That could have just got us through. I know we're in the lead. 2-1. We've scored two goals. But that tackle there could have just got us through to the knockout stages in the Europa League. Oh, Ginter, you beauty. We've done it. We are going through to the knockout stages. What a win this was. I don't think either team were great, to be honest. But I think we just edged it to deserve the win. What a double sub that was from me. Mbolo and Traore came on in the 65th minute and combined for the winning goal three minutes later it's been a patchy season not just in the Bundesliga but also in the Europa League but we've scraped out the group and our Europa League dream is still alive full-time result here Borussia Mönchengladbach 2 Basic Share 1Plays it forward to Camacho and he's got two players to his left hand side and he finds the fullback and it's 1-0 to the home side after just six and a half minutes. Mbappu opens the scoring. Why is he in that sort of position anyway? He's playing at right back. He's in the box. What on earth is he doing? 
And to be honest, I shouldn't have gone to ground when I was trying to tackle Camacho. I went to ground to try and block a potential cross, but he didn't do it. Terrible start to the game. Seven minutes gone. We are behind once again in the Bundesliga. Rachina on the ball out to Venton. This left hand side, not the best of first touches, but we do keep possession. Now in Bolo, and it's a great turn onto his right foot. He's gone past two players. He's into the box, low and hard. And it's a goal kick. Brilliant play from Mbolo, but just cannot finish it. But since Wolfsburg opened the scoring, we've been the much better team. Rachina, left hand side is Vent. Now Traore for to Mbolo. Hoffman, can we find Traore once again? We can't. We can find Mbolo. Now Hoffman out to Heerman on this right-hand side. This is fantastic football. Brilliant turn on to his left foot from Heerman. And it's a brilliant save. Oh, my God. That was fantastic football. But it's a very good save from the keeper. 26 minutes gone. Can we finally grab the equalising goal? Not from this corner, but it's going to go back out to Traore. And it's a fantastic delivery back in, but just a little bit over here. I don't know why my player at the back post, whoever that was I was controlling, didn't even try to jump up because I actually pressed circle. So I'm not sure why I didn't try and jump up and header it. But it's a goal kick. And like I just said, we have been at the much better team since Wolfsburg opened the scoring. Elvedi on the ball for two Kramer. Now here, man. And Bolo to his left hand side is Rachina. Traore once again fantastic football across into Mbolo with the header and there's just no power on it whatsoever just didn't connect with it properly did he wow we have played fantastic football in this game but we're behind here man on this right hand side is fantastic play from the winger he's gone past two players can we find a white shirt in the box a cross goes in and Brooks gets it away and Joa Victor keeps it in and plays it forward but it luckily falls here to Hoffman now in Bolo oh it's a fantastic turn from the striker oh what a tackle from Keane what a block and it's going to be a corner kick here man with it it's an okay delivery is it going to fall to a white shirt it does in Rachina back into Kramer and it's a goal kick well after they scored, we were the much better team throughout the first half, and we've continued that into the second. Schlager on the ball for Wolfsburg, and it's a good tackle from Liner. Now Kramer, Hoffman, forward to the striker. Left-hand side is Traore. Once again, very good football, but Mbappu with a very good tackle, and we almost nick it away from him, but he's kept it, and he plays a very good pass forward to the striker. Decent first touch, and he finds... Raquel, and it's a very good finish from the winger 57 minutes gone Wolfsburg have just doubled their lead oh this is so frustrating we've been the much better team throughout this game the only things Wolfsburg have done in this match are the two goals very good turn there from the striker and Brakow lashes it past Sommer no chance for the keeper and I think that's going to be game over. Mbappu on this right-hand side into one of the goal scorers. Oh, delicious cross in. Sommer with the punch. And thankfully, we are going to come away with the ball. And it's very good play to come away with it as well. Here, man, out to Taram on this left-hand side. And he's got fresh legs. Surely, we're going to grab a goal back in this game. Taram with the effort. And it's woeful. Oh, God. I've been dreadful this season. <laughs> that was a poor finish. So, so bad. Mbolo on the ball. Backwards to Kramer. Right-hand side is Liner. And surely it's going to be 2-1. Liner! Brilliant finish from the fullback. With 15 minutes left to play. It's game back on. It's 2-1. We are back in this match. Taram on this left hand side and Bolo Taram once again and it's very good play between the two players fantastic turn on to his right foot from Taram and it's gone out for a goal kick do you know what even though we're losing 
this has been one of my best performances in the league this season. We played some great football. But just putting the ball in the back of the net is the problem. It's another loss in the Bundesliga, but our performance deserved more. We played some of our best stuff this season, but just couldn't bury enough of our chances. Wolfsburg had three shots in this game. We had 12, and they win 2-1. So frustrating. We are just slipping closer and closer to the relegation battle. Full-time result here. Wolfsburg 2, Borussia Mönchengladbach 1. So after 15 games, we sit 8 points ahead of 16th and 9 ahead of 17th. If things keep going the way they're going, we are going to be in the relegation scrap. And you know what? Bring it on. In my opinion, you don't have to enjoy FIFA by winning titles and trophy after trophy after trophy. Bring on the relegation scrap. At the top, buy-in 15 wins out of 15 games. Dortmund in second, sitting 10 points behind the league leaders after 15 matches. Wolfsburg in third on 34 points. And Leipzig and Leverkusen both on 32 points in fourth and fifth. Next episode, we have two league games at home to Paderborn and then three days later away at Hertha Berlin. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.